But what we're going to show is that the subset lattice has a symmetric chain partition. And we're going to do it in a slightly more general setting. So let me just write on this slide. Our goal is to show that 2 to the n has a symmetric chain partition. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get there in a couple of steps, but I, I want to return to the main camera and show you some slightly more complicated pictures. Don't, and these pictures, of course, uh, you shouldn't attempt to reproduce these in your notes. Just make a placeholder in your mind that on the PowerPoints there are some uh, more complicated pictures. Now, hopefully, what I have here is a symmetric chain partition for a rank post set of height 4. There's a red chain coming down this way of size 4. There's a pink chain coming this way of size 4. There's a green chain of size 4. There's a yellow chain going that way of size 2. And there's a pale blue chain going like this of size 2. All the elements belong to one of those chains, and they're all symmetric. Now, how did I get that? That picture right there took me a half an hour to draw. And this one took more like 45 minutes. So here is a one of height 5. And I've partitioned it into ranked chains. One of the ranked chains, or maybe even two, has size one. Oh, yes. There's two of them. There's a white element and a black element that have size one. The other chains have sizes three or five. Over on the far right, you can see a pale blue chain of size three. And there are several chains of size five. Okay. Is the notion of a symmetric chain partition clear? Now, I, I'm not asking you at the moment how, how you, you would get these things. And if I gave you a, a complicated picture and said, does this have a symmetric chain partition, you should throw your books at me. Just kidding. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> 